I'm National Weather Service meteorologist Peter Chan with an important message regarding the National Weather Service Alaska Region communication outage that has occurred on this Saturday, December 23rd. This is an update from 3 p.m. on Saturday afternoon. Here in the Alaska region, we experienced a major communications failure due to a cut in a fiber optic cable in the Anchorage area early Saturday morning. This has had significant impacts to all of the National Weather Service units in Alaska region. Data flow, products, and services at this time are limited, and we are in backup mode with creative dissemination solutions underway. But at this time, it remains unknown when full operations will return to normal. A very active and stormy pattern across much of Alaska is occurring with this Christmas holiday weekend. A strong low pressure system will bring heavy precipitation and high winds to the southern mainland, Gulf Coast, and Panhandle tonight into Sunday with impacts to holiday travel likely. Another low will produce more heavy precipitation and strong winds across the Panhandle and northern Gulf Christmas Day into Tuesday. Taking a look at the surface weather map from mid-morning Saturday, we see a couple areas of low pressure, North Pacific lower Gulf that are gonna consolidate into one stronger low as we go through this Saturday night. On satellite imagery from early Saturday afternoon, you can see the enhanced green and blue cloud tops showing the flow of moisture and it outlines this trough that's tilted and leaning toward the, the left. This negative tilt to the trough is what's enhancing the storm, allowing it to strengthen and then forcing that moisture up along the panhandle into the northern Gulf Coast and eventually up into south central areas of the state. By early Sunday morning on the 24th, we expect a strong area of low pressure to be located over the Kenai Peninsula and this low will gradually track northeastward across northern Cook Inlet up into the Susitna Valley as we go through the day on Sunday. The system is going to bring some very strong winds, especially early this Saturday evening along the northern Gulf Coast. We have a number of high wind warnings in effect, and also those strong winds will affect areas around the Alaska Range. In addition, we have widespread precipitation. Coastal areas are seeing mainly heavier rain, but where there is some elevation and colder air, precipitation is falling in the form of heavy snow. So tonight into Sunday, we have winter storm warnings for heavy snow for Whittier, Turnigan, and Moose Passes in the eastern Kenai, as well as in the northern panhandle along the Haines and Klondike highways, including Haines and Skagway. A blizzard warning is also in effect for tonight into early Sunday for Thompson Pass, which is rather common when we have these types of weather systems pushing inland across the southern interior. Winter weather advisories are also in effect for the Western Kenai and Copper River basins where several inches of snow will fall tonight into Sunday. And some of the latest computer forecast guidance is suggesting that the Anchorage Bowl area could pick up a little more snow than originally thought. So there could be impacts uh, to the Anchorage area, especially late tonight through Sunday morning that could slow holiday travel. High wind warnings are also in effect for the southern and western portion of the panhandle, including Ketchikan, Heidelberg, and Sitka. A wind gust to 75 miles an hour was measured at the Heidelberg airport late this morning. And these high winds are also going to impact Cordova, where winds there could gust as high as 75 to near 80 miles an hour. And as these winds expand northward. The Alaska Range is also under a high wind warning where winds there through some of the gaps and along the ridge lines could gust as high as 80 miles an hour as well. When we look at the interior and further north and west for tonight into Sunday, there are areas of snowing, blowing snow along with gusty winds that are going to create lower wind chills along areas of the west coast into the central interior. We're having moisture being lifted up into the colder air across the interior. So it's producing areas of some heavy snow. A winter storm warning is in effect for eight to 12 inches of snow for the middle Yukon and upper Kuskokwim region, including Anvik and Holy Cross tonight through Sunday. Further west, we have winter weather advisories along the northwest coast from Point Lay down through Point Hope as well as along the north and west side of the Seward Peninsula 
Shishmaref down through Wales and Port Clarence. These areas are going to see strong north winds that could cause considerable blowing and drifting snow tonight into Sunday. A check of the weather map early Christmas Day, we find that the low pressure that moved inland uh, from the northwestern Gulf will have weakened, but a new and another strong low will be lifting out of the North Pacific up into the eastern and central Gulf Monday into Tuesday. As a result, we do expect another round of heavy precipitation and strong winds across the Panhandle and along the northern Gulf Coast Christmas Day into Tuesday. So we ask all of you across the state, be prepared and stay safe over the holiday weekends. We want to thank you for your patience and understanding, and we wish you a Merry Christmas.